Uh, first, um, the governors and the states are really under tremendous pressure, not just to balance budgets, uh, and not just to restart their economies, but frankly, to transform their economies. There, there really is no going back uh, after this recession uh, to the economy that preceded the recession, one that was characterized by debt and hyperconsumption. I think everyone, um, the mainstream economists and business leaders um, in particular, have said we need to move forward to a different kind of American economy, uh, one that is powered by exports and, and low carbon and innovation and hopefully rich with opportunity. Um, I mean, clearly, when we think about global demand, rising nations, the energy imperative made so much more forceful by what's happening in the Middle East, the traditional role of innovation, we have to conceive of and then execute a very different kind of economy in the United States. Now, the second point is states are critical in delivering on that vision uh, for several different reasons. Uh, the first reason um, that Bob mentioned is, is they have such a fundamental role in both financing and then delivering so many of the assets that ultimately create economies, um, whether it's education, whether it's infrastructure, whether it's energy, whether it's innovation, manufacturing. Uh, we all know about the state role uh, in the financing of K through 12, in the financing of higher ed, in the financing of infrastructure. Michael and I have an op-ed today which, which lays that out. The second role that states play, however, uh, is not normally discussed, and that is as the overseer of their cities and metropolitan areas. Cities and suburbs are just creatures of state law. Um, yesterday, uh, the Brookings Metro Program put out a report which gave the latest information on the role that metro economies play in their states. Uh, and what we found is that metropolitan areas generate the majority of GDP in 47 of the 50 states, including such rural states as Kansas and Nebraska and Iowa and Arkansas. In 15 states, one metro generates more than the majority of the GDP. Think New York or Boston or Atlanta or Minneapolis or Seattle. In another 16 states, two metros generate the majority of the state economic output. Think Oklahoma City and, and Tulsa or Grand Rapids and Detroit or, or San Francisco and LA. Metros are the drivers of their state economy, particularly as we think about moving to this different kind of economy. So first point, we need a vision for a different kind of growth. Second point, states and their metros are critical to delivering that growth. Last point, as Justice Brandeis said almost 100 years ago, states are the traditional laboratories of democracy in the United States. They are really on the vanguard of policy innovation. Whatever states are doing today, the federal government will be doing tomorrow to scale it up and bring it national.